Privacy app. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the split and join function of passlock. This function is accessed in the key box. Anything you may want to type here could be a key, it could be something completely different, a very secret message. Let's call it, you know, let's say that it is the, the formula for Coke. Okay, here it is. Here's the formula. What you want to do is give this to several people in such a way that they all need to get together in order to reconstruct the message. So you click split join and Passlock will ask you how many parts you need to you want to make. It has to be between two and 255. Well, let's say that you want to require a minimum of three parts. Okay, so the parts are there. You have three parts here. And Passlock tells you, because it has a tag, of oh, oh, 003. Now, are you restricted to just have three parts? No. You could have more parts. Every time that you click this again, with parts already existing in the other box, you'll add one. That's four. That's five. So we have... Yes, five parts right here. How many are needed in order to reconstruct the message? Three, we said. Let's say that we take out these two. So we only have the last three. One from the original set and two more that were added later. We don't have this. Will we be able to reconstruct the original secret from these parts that were sent to different people and then have been put together right here in different lines? Well, let's see. Put them there in the other box. We click split join. We got it. We got it. And observe that we can make more parts now. So now we have four. Let's say that we only have two. What will happen in this case? Only two people get together and are trying to reconstruct this message. Will they be able to do it? Let's click on split join. No. According to the tags, you need one more part in the main box. We're out of luck. We need to have three people, three parts, doesn't matter which, in order to reconstruct the message. This could be very useful under certain conditions. For instance, when you want to lock a message for a whole distribution list of people, what you do is that you give them the lock message, you give them their key, and then you make the last part, you, you know, you need uh, you need two parts, one that you give to everybody and one that uh, everybody has independently. And in that way, they can just um, all get the same message. Thank you.